So Frank, uh, give me a little ba background as to who you are and what you what you're into. Uh, well, let's see who I am. Um, I have a background in sculpture. I uh, have a degree in it, and I went after a Master of Fine Arts in in sculpture, and I've taught it for uh, thirty some years. And when I retired, um, I knew that I was going to do something in art. Why I started this whole research was, um, if I looked at the cube, there were six sides to it, and they were all equal surface areas. And what I was interested in is the next one, which is seven. So I wanted to find out if there was a form that would have equal surfaces that would be um, somehow related to this, this form because this is the form known as Earth. Uh, this is the grounding form of all the Platonic forms. There are five of them. And so I wanted to start working on this um, and two years, a year after I I retired, I started. This is another of the Platonic forms. What's so interesting is that this one will fit inside there and just the points will touch the faces. Just the points. And it, it, it can suspend it in there. I don't know if I have an example of that, but I do. Uh, this is how that form fits in the cube. Only the points hit the faces right in the middle. So that's also another Platonic form. And uh, I can take this form and put a big one of these around this. So this is also inside this form. And that is, that is really, to me, artistically exciting. Because um, I've never seen anything like that. And so I was very enthusiastic about trying to find the seven-sided form. And if this could be done with seven-sided form, and I didn't even know what a seven-sided form would be like, but it didn't bother me because um, uh, the artists, uh, you know, tackle these kind of things, and the, there's really no fear about behind it. What's behind it is the excitement, the excitement to actually do this. So this is the seven sticks. They're all the same length. Uh, and I try to keep them the same distance apart. So this is how I started. Um, and I had no idea uh, that this was going to be really difficult until I found out that when I had the seven sticks and I connected the points, the made triangles, I came up with ten sides. And ten sides is I wanted seven, not ten. So then I realized that seven points doesn't automatically make seven sides. So, um, I knew I was into the problem here. So, I tried another thing. And this form are six triangles everywhere. But it's goofy looking. <laughs> but I liked it, and I made it out of bronze because I liked it. So, how do I make this into a three-dimensional sculpture? As so I found out that I could straighten this out See how this is bent here, and this is bent, and this was bent too. But well, if I straighten them out, I could make a triangle. And I could here too. But here I couldn't. Here this was again where you cannot straighten this out because this one prevents it from being straightened. But I could straighten these out. And I did. And then I took seven cups of plaster Paris, all the same height, and I poured them one at a time inside here until they hardened. And then I took it out, and then I did that all the way around so that I had seven pieces here on the table. And then I put them together. And when I put them together, this was the form I got. And this is the first seven-sided form in this configuration ever. And I've studied and researched this for years to try to find it. It's not been here before. 
and all the surface areas of this triangle and this what we call quadrilateral because it has four this area if you take the area of this quadrilateral and the area of this triangle they're equal just like the cube but it has seven sides now this is all the same size polygon but these are two different size polygons but it still was a very interesting form and I really liked it and so I decided that I would try to start studying either where this came from or how it came or where it is or whatever to learn about what I thought I discovered. Now that you had a seven-sided figure, what did you want to do with it? Well, I wanted to find out where it uh, comes from. Um, I knew that uh, when I studied the platonic forms that, first off, uh, they fit in each other. They all fit inside each other and they also all fit on the outside of each other. So the platonic forms, of course, is the cube. That's the first one, which is, uh, this is pyrite crystal uh, that comes into nature. And basically, how nature works is it works through earth, water, air, and fire. So if you have uh, a block of ice and you put fire under it, it turns into a liquid. And if you keep burning it more, it turns into a gas. So it's earth and then water and then air and then the fire. Well, the platonic forms uh, all have those characteristics. So this is always known as earth. And this is very small, but it is an icosahedron and it symbolizes water. And then you have the next form which symbolizes air, this is an octahedron. And the last one is fire, which is a tetrahedron. There's one more platonic form, and that's this. Um, they always consider this uh, as the cosmos. Um, and um, this one here, I really haven't used in my process, but I knew that this was the process that I could use to find out if my form, the seven-sided form, was related to some kind of sequence on where it was coming from. I knew it was coming from someplace, so I figured if I took it through this process, I could find it out. So I had to figure out, well, what Earth is what's different, and water is what's changing, and air is what's reversing, and fire is what transforms. Well, I figured if I put my form through these processes, I could find out where it came from.